Yo there you guys, Bearboy55 here, coming at you with another uh, Pokemon episode of Pokemon Glazed. Uh, this episode is going to be episode 14. Uh, yeah, last episode we uh, got here to Cape Azure and we checked out the Safari Town. Safari Town? The Safari Zone, right over here, the Two Node Safari- Oh! I never noticed that it said Two Node Safari Zone, so that's obviously implying there's going to be another Safari Zone, obviously in the Johto region. Or in uh, the other region. But uh, anyway, I, in this grass area right here, I just want to show you, you can find Swellows in here. And um, you can also find Wingles and Mighty Ennas and whatnot. But yeah, I was just going to go ahead and uh, catch a Swellow here. Actually, I, I'm, I already caught a Swellow, but you know the natures were okay. So, uh, I'm gonna catch another one for you guys, and also just show you that if you also need a flying type for the game, then, uh, you can get one right here. Swell is a pretty good Pokemon. I also have Wingle, but, you know, Pelipper is not the greatest. Plus, it's a water type, and I already have, uh, Marshchomp on my team, and also Kabuto is kind of water type, so if I keep him, you know, we'll, we'll just see where all of that goes. Um, but wow, he does not want to stay in the Pokeball. So, I'm going to quick attack him again. I actually wasn't going to catch one of these. But, you know, I ran into one, so I might as well. Um, for, hope for a better nature. Okay. Shit, dude, this thing's about to kill me. Oh my god. Alright, please stay. Please stay in the ball. Stay. One. Two. Three. Good, alright. Alright, so we did catch a swallow. The attaboy. Okay, uh, sure, we can nickname him. Let's nickname him... Hmm... I don't know, I always feel like I should name him, like, Swag something. Wait, what? Uh... No, I'm gonna name him... Swick. Like, Swellow. And I'll just name him Swicklo. Yeah, uh, whatever. I, I think I named another one Swaglo or something. Doesn't matter. But uh, anyway, let's go uh, to the PC and check out uh, the Pokemon that I caught. Because I caught a Wingle. I think I caught two, maybe now three Swellows. And uh, yeah, I actually haven't checked the natures. I just wasn't planning on catching one, but I ran into one, so I thought it might as well. Um, yeah, let's see. So we've got, yeah, Swaglo, the Taylo. Quiet nature, that's terrible. Serious, naive. Both have guts. Uh, this is Bird Jesus. <laughs> like Bird Jesus, but, you know, whatever. Wow. Well, it looks like, um, Sweklo has a way higher attack stat, so we're gonna take him. And I decided to get rid of, uh, Viney Fuck, because we don't really need Cut. I feel like Cut isn't a necessary HM, and if we need it for something, I can always come get, come back and get him. Rock Smash is, uh, is a lot better. But I might be able to just teach Rock Smash to one of my Pokemon or something. But yeah, level 20 is not that bad. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I have him right now so he can learn Fly and stuff. But I'd really like to run into a way better Flying type other than just Swellow, who's kind of like a common, like, Flying type that a lot of people use. And I'm pretty sure we could have got him at the beginning of the game. So, anyway, we are going to take on the Cycling Road today, uh, which I think it's called. Um, we have to get the Dart Bike, which we, we got the Dart Bike already, but here, I'll register it. Alright, usually these guys have, like, Magnemites and stuff, so I probably should go with Milkshake, but he's pretty high level. Um, I don't, I don't care, because Kabuto's going to get some XP as well. Alright, let's go. Let's go down the left side. And, oh, looked like there was one on the right side. Okay, here's our first trainer battle. I'm training for a marathon, but I can train for battle too. Oh, well that's great for you. Dang, that guy had a Caesar. Um, yeah, Caesars are pretty powerful. That, like, wow. 
Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if these Pokemon, or these trainers have really good Pokemon too. Whoosh, up and down, overseas bridge I go. Alright, well that guy just had Arbox and Survipers basically, so he's got Poison Snakes. Um, looks like that was it. Uh, let's go back up the right side actually. Cause I saw another trainer. Pretty sure, yeah here he is. Come here. Come here. Come here. Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. Ding ding, let's battle. Alright, well, this, that guy was pretty easy. He just had area dose and, and all that jazz. But yeah, it looks like there's only three trainers on the overseas bridge. Uh, unless this is a trainer. Hold on. Bike, bike, bike. I'm gonna be able to bike around the Tuna region if I train hard enough. Okay, so it's definitely not, um, not gonna be a trainer. Alright, so we can walk now. Let, let's check this guy out. He looks like he's gonna give us a TM. Maybe. I'm psyching myself up for the stamina challenge. I've been training for months, and now I'm going to win for sure. Oh, what's this? Battle building. Put your abilities to the test. All right, let's go check it out. Welcome to the battle building. Here you can take on the infinite stamina challenge. Talk to the attendant on the right to get started. Welcome to the battle building. Would you like to take the stamina challenge? Um. Sure. Excellent. Just step right on your side of the battlefield to begin. Alright, I hope they heal my Pokemon. Because, um, I didn't heal them. Prepare to be stopped in your tracks. Okay, well, um, I'm not really quite sure what this stamina challenge is, really. Uh, it's, it might be kind of like the lighthouse challenge. Maybe you get Pokemon at the end or something. But, I'm not, I'm not really sure probably should have like looked it up or something wow that pincer ate up that takedown oh revenge better not do that much kind of did a lot okay uh, I I don't know I, I'm not really sure how many battles they're gonna make me do but you know I guess we'll just keep going until because YOLO I don't know all right we're gonna go into Swaglo here because super effective on Caesar or Scyther, not Caesar. That that'd be a bad matchup. Ooh, pretty, these these are okay attacks. Double team Endeavor, Wing Attack, Focus Energy. Focus Energy is not very good, but whatever. Yeah, Wing Attack does a lot. Uh, Pursuit. Come on, eat that up. There we go. Swick low for the win. Uh, yeah, I wish I would have came in here not leading with my Marsh Tomp. Because he was weakened already. Um, I don't know. I probably would have led with my Manectric or my... Actually, I probably would have led with my Scorpy. Or slash Drapion, whatever. The winner is Bam55. It's time for battle number two. Challenger, appear. This stamina challenge isn't as hard as I thought at all. Alright. I don't know how long these battles are going to be. I feel like... There's gonna be a ton of them, so I might I might start fast forwarding them after this battle. We'll we'll just see. Uh yeah, see this is where it would have been nice to leave a sniper, but sniper is like low on health. Let's go into Sweck Low. This this is actually really good, uh really good place to train your Pokemon if they're low level. And not to mention it, they're pretty much bug before now it's grass. So this would be a really good place to train my Swecklo and my Drapion. So. Oh! Fuck! 
Wow, poison powder's annoying. But yeah, these these battles don't seem that important. Um, I think I'm just gonna start to fast forward through them. I'm actually I'm just gonna do all of them in a row right now. If I come across an interesting battle, I'll unfast forward it. But I'm just gonna start fast forwarding right now. Alright, well, it looks like that's the end of the Stamina Challenge. Um, so at the end, you get a Nugget, which is, I mean, okay. <clears throat> I'd rather do it for the experience, but whatever. Come back and try again whenever you want. Alright, so I was a little worried that there was going to be, like, ten trainers or something, so that's why I sped them all up. But, um, but yeah, it's five trainers. They're all level 30 Pokemon, I believe. I don't think it even rises higher than that. Oh, dang, I didn't even remember that Swampert had a C incense. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm doing, like, the old-school healing. Because... I didn't- I didn't see a Pokemon... Actually, there probably- there probably is a Pokemon Center, so I'm- I'm gonna not do that. Um, because we're in a town, Southerly City. Um, but let's go check out these houses over here. Alright, looks like a fisherman right here. Maybe we'll get a Super Rod. Me and my father love living here just because it's such a- a quaint little town. I think uh, quaint, actually. Quaint. They spelled it wrong, I think. A quaint little town. We're really travelers from afar, though. Uh, maybe they're from Johto? Hey, kid, do I have a good trade for you? I have a Ninetales that I got from Unova. Want to trade a Curlia for my Ninetales? Uh, nah, I don't have a Curlia, brah. So I can't. <laughs> Shots fired. Um, but anyway, let's check out this next town. This one is bigger, apparently. Have you tried the battle building yet? It's a nice way to train if you need to. That is very true. Um, Kabuto. Ooh, you can catch Leafeons and Espo clearing, wherever that is. Um, freaking Kabuto is level 29 now, which is, uh, pretty good. Um, because he evolves at level 40, I believe. 
and um, those Pokemon in there were like level 30, so maybe if I do some off-screen training after this episode, then I will put Kabuto on the front and see how much XP you can get. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to battle Kato, which is one of our other rivals, I believe. Hello, Ben55. I see you got my mom's badge. <laughs> That's funny. As well as a few others. I assume you're going to battle Ernest next, right? I hate to say it, but he seems to be out right now. How about we battle instead? I'd like to see if, if, if I've gotten stronger since the last time. Let's go. Alright, so it looks like we're battling Kato, which is the uh, same name as the guy from Hunger Games, who's a badass. Leading off with a Houndoom, and, well, that's a really good matchup for me. I've got Milkshake, who's about to be level 42. Uh, I've got Sea Incense, so I'm just going to use Surf. That should just KO it right away. Yeah, he's, he's a scrub. Yeah, dude, shots fire, dude. <laughs> okay. Level 42. Uh, hopefully, Kabuto evolves or levels up. Oh, for alligator. Good thing we trained Mini Raikou a little bit because now he's level 35. So hopefully, that's high enough level to take on this for alligator. Pretty sure that my Pokemon are pretty good standings for levels right now. Yeah, there we go, level 34. Uh, I'm not sure if Spike will KO it because for alligator is pretty tough. Yeah, close though, and we get the paralyzation, which is pretty nice. Um, we should eat up this bite. Speaking of the move bite, Mini Raikou is supposed to learn bite at level 39. I checked on Cerebi, because uh, Spark is pretty trash. I'd really like to get Thunderbolt or something, because Spark is uh, pretty low-powered. And we get the Paralyzation again. This is unfortunate for this for Alligator. But yeah, we're just going to be able to KO him. Bite will be pretty useful against like Psychic types, obviously. But I haven't. I don't really know if there's any Psychic types coming up, so we'll just have to see, oh, speak of the devil, here's a psychic type, Espeon, um, sniper, I could go into sniper, but right now psychic attacks affect him, uh, cause he's not a Drapion, so, you know, I'll just stay in, hopefully, uh, I can get a paralyzation, I think he has, he has synchronizer or whatnot, but I don't really care that much, let's just see how much spark does, I'm four levels higher, even though Espeon's a special defensive beast, are you serious? Don't be a sand attacking. I, I swear to God, just stop sand attacking. I better not miss an attack. I'm going to be pissed. Oh, paralyzed. And here we go. There we go. Synchronized. That's okay with me. Uh, Swift never misses. Hopefully, I, I see, I would go for quick attack, but I'm almost sure that she's going to full restore. So I might want to switch out into my milkshake because I think she's going to heal up anyway so there's no point of keep going for sparks eventually I'm going to get paralyzed and not going to be able to attack her and wow she goes for the sand attack knowing my luck though I would have missed that quick attack even if I went for it so we'll just KO, KO the Espeon with a surf but yeah I should probably stop using milkshake and inferno star they're in the 40s now which is pretty high Porygon 2. Hmm. Um, let's just send in Kabuto. He's he's actually level 30, which is not low anymore. But his move tr his move pool is not the greatest. But he did learn Mudshot, which is helpful. Um, and Swift Swim isn't bad either. I have Rain Dance, which I could teach to him. So whatever. Uh, yeah, that much. Look at that. That did nothing. So, we're probably going to have to switch out here. Yeah, we're No, we're not staying in. We're going to have to KO this thing in one hit. Sorry about that. I had to pause the recording for a second. I had to blow my nose. I've had the worst cold for the past three weeks, and it's pretty annoying. But anyway, uh, also, if you guys have noticed, I've been uploading a lot more frequently lately. I decided that I'm going to try to upload... Uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So I, the only days I won't be uploading are Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, I'm going to try to keep this up. Uh, right now, I don't have my 3DS because it's uh, going to, to get the capture card. Hopefully, it comes back in like the next week or so, and then I can bring you guys some nice, clean Wi-Fi battles, maybe a Battle Spot series, all that good stuff, and it will be easy to upload frequently like every day. But for now, we're just going to have to, uh, do, we're, I think I'm just going to try to power through Pokemon Glaze and get a lot of Pokemon Glaze done while waiting for the 3DS. 
uh, capture card. Uh, so that then I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do uh, speed drawings on Sundays, and then probably glazed for the rest of the week. So if you if you like this series, that's great. You guys can see lots of it. If you don't, I'm powering through it, so you can get ready for my next let's play or hope my battles will come soon. So yeah. Anyway, anyway, Kato was uh pretty trash. I know, like shots fired. Uh, he, according to him, I still have a bit of training to do, it seems. Why don't you go to the Espo Forest, which we, we actually, uh, talked about to some lady in the house earlier, where you can get a leafy on. Go to the Espo Forest and train a bit more until Ernest comes back. Just head west of town and you'll end up at the Espo Forest. Take care, man. 55. Whoa, he disappeared. He did not run away. He did, he just straight up disappeared. Did you see that? That was cray. Alright, we're going to have to just... Heal up right here. I mean, we still got, a, like, a little bit of time left in this episode, so that's good. Because we did all that fast-boarding and whatnot. Let me just see who's in my party again. Refresher. Yeah, Kabuto. Wow, see, now Swallow's, like, the lowest level. But I still want to trade. I want Kabuto to be level 40 so we can evolve. Um, pretty sure he evolves to level 40. All right, let's see. There is a gym. Southerly gym. Leader, Ernest. The guy with good firepower. Um, the door is locked. Whoa. It's sparkling. It's pretty chill. Um, let's check out the Pokemon. Oh, crap. I forgot. We had ci we got citrus berries last episode. We should probably give those to our Pokemon. That would be very beneficial to uh, their battling. And whatnot. We have so many of them, so it's not like wasting... Plus, we have Lumberries, too, which are, like, full heals, so we don't need to buy any full heals. I think I'll give, um, or I'll buy some, I, I'm really low on Super Potions and Hyper Potions, so that's what I need. How much money do we have? 40k! Dang, I wish I had that many subs. <laughs> well, let's Super, wow, they don't even sell Hyper Potions here? That is really unfortunate. I'm just going to buy a couple of repels, because I think I'm running, running low on super repels. I'm going to buy one escape rope. <laughs> and, you know, let's stock up on super potions, because they are pretty powerful. Also, let's get some great balls. Because I have, like, 13 or so. And just a couple potions, why not? YOLO. YOLO swag. <laughs> 2k14. Okay. Alright, so I guess... Wait, let's just talk to this guy. Espo Forest is teeming with psychic types. I wonder where they all came from. Alright, so yeah, Bite would be really awesome right now. I'm in next trick. Uh, but let's check this out first. Southerly City Airport. Ooh! Do I not even need Swallow? Can I fly to places? Is that what this is? We have a plane on the runway at all times just to make absolutely sure anyone who needs fly can fly. That's our guarantee. <laughs> it sounds like a commercial or something. How do the planes fly? The curved shape of the wing causes the air to separate. This causes a sort of suction action, keeping the plane up. Neat, huh? Amazing, huh? <laughs> okay. Flying is an extremely fast way to travel, but it's really scary too. No, you're just a bitch, okay? Planes from all over the world make stops here. If there's a region you want to visit, you can get a flight to it here. Oh, so it's only region to region, maybe. Or maybe it is to town, but then every town would have an airport probably, so let's just see. I'm sorry, only people with a ticket can fly to Jota. Alright, well that is unfortunate, so screw you. But, at least now we know this is where we're going to have to uh, come after we beat the Elite Four to get to the Jota region, which is going to be uh, fucking awesome. But, alright, let's see, we are into the Espo clearing. Let's just see what Pokemon are here, uh, if you want to catch any Pokemon or whatnot. Let's see. Oh, more Swellows. Level 21, apparently they're... They're a, why for some reason they're a lower level than uh something I don't know I was also reading about this you can also catch Gal Galvantulas in here um so if you want a Galvantula go check that out too all right Espo Forest is really creepy <laughs> I'm not leaving sight of Southerly City again anytime soon all right well let's just make our way across with Sir what I don't have a Goldeen what is this did I not notice that before. Why am I on a Goldeen? It's really annoying, actually. Ooh, I could dodge this girl. No, I can't. Alright, well, we're gonna do this battle real quick.
Alright, well, I need to take Milkshake out of the front seat of this party because he's level 42. That's pretty high. Sniper's 37, Mini is 35, Swell's 28, Kabuto 31. Kabuto's got the EXP share. You know, I could put Swell in front to train him, but I'm really not interested in training this thing at all. I don't really like Swallow. Um, I only have him to fly. So if we find another flying type, he could probably be easily replaced. So there's no point in training him. So I'm going to put Mini Raikou in front. But uh, anyway, next episode, we will head on into this uh, this entrance right here. Um, yeah, and we can see what's over there. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. If uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like rating. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more content. But just tune in next time for the next episode of Pokemon Glaze. So... Peace.